What up, it's Joshy Boy, IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Now, before you adjust your phone brightness or change your monitor settings, yes, I am black or playing a dirt bike game. Now, this is 500 hours of MX Bikes, and today I got a special for you, dude. We are doing three races. I am going to show you guys, talking to my audience for if you are new to this game or haven't even got this game and you're looking for it, but this is what around 500 hours looks like. And we're gonna be giving you three different setups for three different 250s. We're gonna give you the YZ 2024, we're gonna give you the Husqvarna, and we're gonna give you Husqvarna 250, and we're gonna give you the Honda 250. We're here on the forest, and then we're gonna go to a JV track, and then to finish it off, we're gonna do some Supercross, man. And I'm just gonna talk a little bit about everything, and I got my boy MTN Austin has been here with me from the jump, so say what's up, baby. What's good, boys? How's it going? Yeah, that's my dog, man. He's literally been here since I've had like 30 hours on the game and since I've had like 50 subs on YouTube. So huge shout out to having a uh, straight word to your mother, man. 2000 subs, man. Thank you guys so much. I can't I can't I can't like fathom words of like how I'm excited and stoked and how much support you guys give. Um, but that being said, Austin does have what do you have like 950 hours? You said, yeah, yeah, that's my dude, man. Yeah, so I, I kind of wanted to keep him in here because, uh, man, he's got a lot of experience and he's got a lot of stuff that he could kind of just touch up more than me on, like, what you to expect in this game. And uh, I'll give my two cents, and I always I never want to be a, um, you know, a biased opinion, so I want to hear his perspective as well. But for my part is when I very first started this game, for anybody that's new that's starting out, whether you're at 100 hours less or more, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a grind, man. It's literally a grind. It's about consistency and getting your your settings dialed man like you could be playing on wrong settings and that's probably the worst the reason why you're having the worst time so make sure you kind of figure out what your settings are watch a good video and play around man get dirty get nasty with it um as with that being said i will trickle in all the setups to the bikes as we're riding them that way you guys can get them and that way if you guys are new to the game and you guys want to ride these bikes uh, you guys can at least uh, have some good setups. So hopefully I'm a trusted source. And shout out to Mintz for everything, man. He comes up with all of these freaking uh, amazing setups. So yeah, uh, with that being said, I'll, I'll throw it over to Austin. And you have anything for anybody that just started the game and or wanting to get the game? Yeah, I mean, like you said, I definitely, I definitely struggled just with this past OEM update, like more than I ever have probably even starting the game and it really came down just to me having the wrong settings so i got in with the boy kelso he got me with a good video his own video of settings and uh they hooked me up they actually worked very well but uh yeah definitely definitely try out the oems if you're gonna start out this game i know the factory bikes seem great but that's definitely just leading you down a bad path. They're pretty easy, and they they don't really like teach you anything about the real game physics. This is very true. With that being said, there is factory and OEMs. OEMs kind of the sole proprietor of like stuff. They they made a lot of stuff in this game, and these are the bikes that we're using right now. I have no real hate to factory other than it just really caters to easy riding i should say when oem really is like you got to get your settings dialed you got to get your bike settings down like it makes you feel like it's more of a simulator because you really have to work more on the bike to understand like what do you feel comfortable on to where you could just pick up on a on a factory bike and be like whoo hoo i'm riding you know type john and uh there's nothing wrong with that like i said but um it all depends on the rider you are and the the, the player you are man oh gosh with that being said like you know some people may like it a little bit more easy less challenge you know being able to be like i just want to get on the game and play for a few hours maybe you don't maybe you don't have that much time of grinding and you just want to get on and have a good time perfectly fine that's what you are you know but i'm more of a grinder type of guy more of grinding video gamer so i like to know like hey what can i do to improve every time i want that challenge i want to be able to be like dang i ran a faster lap i ran a, a faster point tenth or so so it really matters and it comes down to like what, what what's your riding what's your riding style and that that also plays into the bikes you want to use right so this yz 2024 i would say it's a very aggressive quick shifting gear uh bike you know, some people don't always say, oh, I don't really like changing gears a lot. Uh, I don't like, uh, I don't like how like torquey a bike is. And that's why I want to show the Husqvarna later because it's not a huge torquey and you can kind of stay in one to two gears the whole time. And on top of that, 
um you just feel very planet comfortable on the bike it's like you know you're, you're vibing it's almost like you're riding a cruiser like an irl or something like you know you're just trying you're ready for race pace instead of trying to put down a hot lap which is like what I'm seeing with this YZ. Now, this YZ 2024, even with the setup I have on it, it is, you have to slow down the turn. Like I'm still working on the new OEM of like learning to turn down, uh, turn a little bit on this bike because the old one, you'd be able to go Mach 10 through here and turn, but you have to, you have to give it some, you have to give it some slow. Shout out to Smooth, man. He's actually working on my butt, dude. Like he's just been following me this whole time. But yeah, man, I, I'm excited. This is in my own dedicated server. So I wanted to get as much people as I could inside of a race and, uh, you know, kind of support everybody that's been supporting me. You know, shout out to everybody that's here that was able to make it. Shout out to the people that can't. I know I wanted to get Minson here as well. Um, he's just out here doing RC racing. So that's really sick, man. I'm rooting him on. But yeah, I wanted to get as much people that wanted to be in here because it's not about just me. It's about the community and about what you're growing and what you're trying to become. I think for the most part, you know, you'd be transparent with me. I'm going to be transparent with you. And I think that's why I, I, for the most part, I think I enjoy why people keep coming back to me. It's awesome. So I can't thank you guys enough for the support. And we're going to just keep going, man. Let's see if we can catch smooth, man. Once again, that Kawasaki, that thing. Oh, my goodness. Oh. That Kawasaki is a burn piece. It used to be a hazard, but now, man, it is a smoothing bike, dude. Moving and grooving. Oh, like I said, like third gear, I was pinned 52 miles per hour. Like I had to go up to fourth gear. You can just see it, like how much you have to change. Yeah, um, touching back up on the, uh, like the progression thing. I talked to a lot of more advanced guys. Like when I was at 300 hours, they'd be at 3000 and every one of them said around every hundred hours that they gained in this game was a second that they gained on a track like they would put down a heater and then they'd come back to that track a hundred hours later and they'd be up a, a whole second absolutely is, but i mean that varies between how how much of a learning style you have like if you can learn quickly i'm sure you could do that in maybe a minimum of 30 hours yeah 100 percent. it's about being adaptive as well you know like, you know, a lot of people gave gave hate for when these bikes always come out. They always give hate talking about what's too hard, this and that. Like, learn to adapt. And I promise you'll be just fine, man. It's not going to take you two hours to learn the new bikes, you know? It's not going to take you two hours to learn this game. But you, you stay consistent and will be that. But what he said exactly is that. And that's why I kind of wanted to put force this, this map. For a lot of you guys that just start out, you guys can relate. This map is a fan favorite, not if that a community fan favorite. Because you can come on here when you're just having a good time and run laps, run laps, run laps, and feel great. And this is where literally where you're going to really start. <laughs> where you're going to start it all. Like you're probably going to run like 10 hundred laps on this on this map before you like this track i should say not map <laughs> before you even want to move anywhere like go to a new another you know stock track and it's it's the biggest thing like forest is just a huge practice playground for you to honestly get what you need done and then as you move on you're like man i suck now you know but you got to restart the whole process type john and i'm just glad that you guys everybody that picks up this game and continues on just doesn't get defeated like i know it's a very hard game at times and it makes you want to yell <laughs> but man Austin, would you say that you enjoy staying closer to the casual rider fun side of ranked other than going try pro i mean yeah I, even if i was to go pro i still think i would look at it in the fun aspect because let's be real here nobody's making money i wouldn't want to get super duper irritated about it but like i would i mean most recently i've just been a casual player i really enjoy just coming out watching you stream play with you streaming and just cruise around absolutely dude and 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 it's just, it's just that man like i'm not i'm not putting no hate on pro pro riders at all um, I think I, I'm, I appreciate what everything they do and they bring a lot of the um, more competitive side of the community out Which is absolutely sick. I got second place W man shout out to smooth. He was cooking But they bring out a bigger side of the community of competitiveness It's just I feel that everybody hates their life up there and you're not putting any money into it <laughs> So I don't know. I don't know. It's my own two cents on that as you guys continue on into this game shout out to smooth um, you'll really find your groove of whether you want to go for that competitive scene and you're ready for it. Me personally, I'm at 500 and I know I'm not fast enough for, the, for that. But hey, this was the first race. This is Forrest and we're going to go to the next one, man. So I'll see you over there. Bam. All right, ladies and gentlemen. 
<laughs> this is JV's Lombardia of 2022. Um, honestly, man, I'm on the Husqvarna. Uh, I didn't even show off my strike card merch from the last one, dude. That one's on me, but we are on the Husqvarna and did some practice laps and dude, this man, this thing feels planted. So I'm going to trickle in the whole setup throughout the thing, man. Thank you guys so much for support. If you guys stuck this long and yeah. This is race number two with the Husqvarna. I feel like the Husqvarna is a... Husqvarna and KTM are race pace bikes, dude. And so far, man, this thing feels planted. It feels like it's not going to set down the fastest lap for you, but it's going to keep you being inconsistent. I'm going to slow down just a bit. That was absolutely <laughs> horrific. <laughs> kind of crazy. Shout out to the e-bike, Mr. Electric. Here we go. Now, this, but this JV's tracks, man, if you guys are new to the community and or haven't even tried out any of JV's tracks, JV's tracks, man, are probably, like, his his tracks are probably the most beautiful tracks in the game, man. So, W to him. How did, how would you say about that, Austin? Like, out of tracks you've ever, like, ever rode? That definitely, I don't even know. Besides for the most beautiful, they're definitely the most quality, too. Like, that, that as well. That as well. They are truly worth the $2 on yeah. the shop. So Forest is a stock track. JV here is a actual modded track created by JV. He obviously did a replica of Lombardia and yeah, it is $2. So um, how track creators kind of get their money, supply and demand, supply and demand, I'm telling you. But there's no reason for him to be this great and trying to give out anything super crazy. Free damn! <laughs> Yo, it's wild. Oh man, oh. But. No, you good, man. Don't worry about it. I'm having a hard time starting up. All right, there we go. But with that being said, man, like supply and demand, you know, a lot of people give a lot of hate to um, creators, track creators that make their stuff uh, paid. And honestly, I'd do the exact same thing if I knew I was out here run. Ooh, I could not stick in that, you know, being the best in the business, you know? So W to JV, he's doing excellent work and yeah, just keep up the grind for sure. Uh, as we move through here, it's not bad. Kind of just got to be consistent around here. It's not a hard track to learn. Um, just hit your lines, and yeah, I think you should be good, dude, to be honest. Oh. Look at these guys. Uh-oh. Sorry. Oh, had to get you back. <laughs> had to get you back. <laughs> oh, man. I don't even know what place I'm in right now. Oh, I'm in fifth. Let's go. I'll take that. Oh, I got Mr. Electric in front of me, dude. I'm electric bikes rip. Have you yeah, yeah. I actually, I've tried to ride them, but ladies and gentlemen, I use a uh, scuff controller, but I have hair triggers, so it's either a hundred percent or zero percent of throttle control. And uh, yeah, that e-bike goes zero to a hundred real quick, so <laughs> it's not looking too good for me, dude. So I can't really ride them. Uh, I'd probably have to plug in my other controller to test them out, but uh, I really don't have no purpose of riding them. Uh, I really just don't want to. Uh, it's my personal preference. And you guys may come across that. You guys may come across bikes that you just like don't kind of cope with in IRL. And it's the same thing here. Like it's a simulator for a reason. I want to ride the bikes that I think that I would love to ride IRL and what I do. And uh, if I don't want to ride a damn gas gas, which is because I think that shit sucks. True story. Um, yeah, I just don't want to ride it. Like, so I probably won't give out any content about it, you know? So. But other than that, you know, the Husky was, I mean, the Kawasaki was the same thing. Like, I would never touch the Kawasaki until they came out with the OEMs. And now I touch that thing every day. Wait, wait a second. Austin, what am I on about? What, Ching Bone? Wait a minute. What? Wait a uh, second. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. Other than that, dude, I just, ooh, 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 I almost went over the, oh, dude, Husky saved that John. Let's go. Now, Austin, if you guys do not know, man, if you guys haven't joined my Discord and you guys made it this far, join my Discord, join the ESR team Discord, MTN. And uh, yeah, shout out to Austin because he's actually been working on that craft of making skin, skin, gear skins and bike skins. And we try to do at least a uh, gear, gear gear giveaway and bike gear, uh, bike giveaway every uh, week or so. So it, work, it helps him work on his craft and it's a really fun thing to give back to the community, man. So thank you, Austin, for everything. No problem. We we're actually doing another uh, gear giveaway. Hopefully, I don't know when this video is going to be released, but by the next uh, stream after this video comes out, you'll be able to enter. Easy peasy, easy peasy, and it is October first, 
kind of midday right now one o'clock so this this video will be out tomorrow october 2nd also happy halloween uh happy october type john i am rocking oh you guys can't see it i'll show it in a second i'll show it in like the next race or something like that but i'm rocking a little pumpkin patch stuff i went out on the couch with my wife and we watched the first uh halloween thing with the witches and stuff i don't know what that one is but uh we watched one of those. Oh, Halloween Town. We watched Halloween Town. That was really fun, dude. I haven't seen those those movies in a minute, and I low-key got to binge watch, uh, you know, Harry Potter. So it's going to be a fun time. Shout out to the Stark Varg or whatever that thing is. But yeah, man, you guys just got to be true to yourself, man. Stay stay real and keep up the grind on the game. I promise. Like, I, I it's insane how small this game is for how fun it is. I say it every day, if this game was for a freaking Xbox or PS5 or anything, or just console in general, like this game would absolutely be phenomenal for you dudes. And I get so many people in my streams and my comments saying, I wish this was for Xbox and console. The only huge thing about it is that there's so many mods to the game. Nobody would understand how to pick this game up and implement those mods into like a system. But it would basically be a lot of pay to play for this game. Since we get a lot of mods free, the only way to upload a lot of stuff, I mean, maybe they could change it and, and put a lot of stuff free, but there's just a lot of megabytes that come with, what I mean, not megabytes that maybe turn into a different kind of thing for gigabytes for a console, uh, because it's a PC and a console is a completely different thing, but, you know, there's just a lot of downloadable content that's for this game, and, you know, you'd probably be storing up your whole hard drive or terabyte, you know, just trying to play this game, so I feel where it's at, and it's a different kind of space, but... Man, this game is fun, dude. I wish they would, like, try to replicate something close to this on a, on a console for you guys. So, I feel for you, and I hopefully you guys get enough fiending and you guys get your fix by watching your boy IBS Kelsa. And, uh, yeah, it's insane to the amount of support you guys give me uh, every time I play this game. So, I really didn't see myself coming in first place. Uh, I am in fourth, so I guess I'll try to hold on, maybe catch a podium. He's not too far ahead of me. I low just been talking instead of... So, uh, fix it up but i thought i you know i thought i'd give you guys more information than you guys needed um there is a pro scene in here like i said before uh i just feel like don't hate yourself if you're gonna join the pro team it should be for fun it should be like a better advancement in your skills and you should be happy about that dude you should be happy that you're able to compete but you shouldn't hate yourself for being up there you know what i mean and don't complain too much about the game and you gotta you gotta you gotta deal the card, I mean, you know, you gotta be dealt the cards or whatever it is, you know, you gotta handle the cards, whatever has been dealt to you or whatever <laughs> that saying is, bro. I'm just saying, man, you know, you gotta be able to adapt, you know? And yeah, and I feel like a lot of the pro players, not all of them, a lot of the pro players, uh, they try to decimate this game instead of have the community grow at times, thinking that they're the best of the best. Man, congratulations, you want a cookie, bro? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? And and a lot of casual riders look up to, to them okay come on now don't do that don't do that man but a lot of the casual riders look up look up to homies you know and uh it, it really means a lot um every word that comes out of the big creator's mouth is like the only thing that the people yeah even you know and, and it's a huge thing when when people start saying oh i hate this game i hate this i hate this you know then then you got the whole community wanting to say it you know you should be happy and you should be working on thriving like obviously you're, you're you know you, you say things behind closed doors and you speak to the actual actual team instead of sitting here saying so much bad stuff about it at times which is fine you know what i mean everybody's voice to an opinion i will always say that and uh yeah i have my own opinion to stuff of why i hate it but you know it's it's all about when you say the full game sucks and like everything's wrong with the game and i think it's you just i think it's just at that point you know you gotta you gotta adapt it and have fun if you're gonna still play you know shouldn't hate your life if you, if you hate it that much you just should be done playing it you know what i mean but hey we'll, we'll, we'll hop off that train and uh we'll see what else we can get into as we keep falling but i've low-key been enjoying this race and uh i thought it'd be fun to put this on my daddy uh five minute races with plus two kind of give you guys a real feel and just kind of see the maps and see how I ride. And, uh, you know, I'm only at 500 hours and I'm not the best player. So I feel like this is like where you should be, should be around and kind of pushing yourself. So, and I do like this little wall jump. I feel like in the new OEM, it has made it so much easier to hit. Yeah, I really do like that wall jump. I've been over clearing a lot, and last OEM, I feel like I would have got some really weird bounce physics, 
but with these ones, it's like a controllable. Like, yeah, I I feel like you're way more planted on stuff, dude. I feel like the bikes the bikes a little bit more forgiving. Oh, I feel like the bikes are way more forgiving. So shout out to the OEM team. If you guys don't know too much about them, man, definitely check them out at mxmods.com. Uh, they do a lot for the community, man. So they're huge. Huge, huge, huge. And oh my god. Goodness. Lap traffic galore. Yeah, so I would say this is like a track, since it's like the end of it, but this is like a track that when you, after you advance from your ranked and you're like regular testing and doing ranked uh, servers, it's kind of like now you need to understand how to ride a little bit more rougher tracks. And JV, if you want to spend the money, is a perfect example. TFC as well. I feel like TFC before the patch of a new OEMs was not it. Um, and I felt like his tracks were for more for these OEMs now. And every time I run a, ride a TFC track, they're perfect. So um, I say definitely give a TFC or JV track if you guys want to get a little bit more rough of a track. It is a little bit more rough, but it's fun to get used to. Um, me and Austin is going to see you in the net last race. Um, so yeah, we'll head over there. Bam. All right, ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, this is Supercross, okay? I'm proud to say that for the most part, I have... For, I'm proud to say for the most part, I... Sorry, I was reading the chat thing. I'm proud to say for the most part that my, my, my progress on here at 500 hours is semi-okay. I suck, okay? I suck at Supercross, but I thought I'd show you guys because this is literally probably where you want to try to be the best of your of the best like i'm not gonna lie I, I i'm i'm being serious like being good in supercross is probably like you like winning a gold medal in this game dude you can run supercross man you're you're, you're that guy as people get dropped like flies holy moly don't i'm just gonna work my way through real quick there's no way clean up on aisle 35 <laughs> Or, yeah, uh, but kind of correlating with 500 hours of motocross. Yeah. Into Holy moly! But yeah, like I said, man, this is this is literally where you know, you you've done you've done your ranked, you've done your outdoors, and now it's time to actually understand how to play Supercross, ride Supercross. Now you may be, love Supercross IRL, you may understand, oh, that's a double, that's a triple, this and that. It is completely different trying to play in this game, dude. You really got to understand your power, what you're, what you're pulling into it, what gear you need to be, all that, man. Physics plays so much into this game, dude. It is absolutely insane. But, hey, I, I'm, I'm glad to be able to show you guys this. We are on the Honda 250 as well. Like always, I will trickle in the setup in here. Uh, but, yeah, I think a Honda 250 is probably still one of my top favorites. Uh, 250s, just so much power, and I feel like I got a pretty good setup on it. Uh, it's more for an outdoor, but it works so far on Supercross, so... And we are here on um, this... If you guys are any familiar with what this <laughs> what this track is, this is actually Fort Dodge, but Fort Red and MX Bikes uh, from uh, M ATV versus MTV uh, Reflex. I think I butchered that just a little bit. But yeah, it's from Reflex, and shout... I forget his name, who made it, but shout out to him. Uh, looks so amazing, such a great replica. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked to be able to ride it and it feels great. It's a little technical at first But it's really great really fun and man does people love this track, bro. Everybody comes through on this one So yeah, we're gonna keep going that was one lap in the books and I'll just kind of like walk through like what I see in the track To where maybe you can get something from me. Oh You guys seen that? Holy moly. Can I land that? Oh, I can dang it. No, I didn't but yeah, it's it's all about it's all about being keeping your consistency around here. Well, Supercross, you mostly need a lot of consistency because you mess up one time and usually your whole group is messed up. Yeah, everybody behind you is not going to be messing up, and you and, and then at that time you're hoping that somebody messes up. But yeah, we're gonna do a double in here, triple out. I'm gonna go in the third gear because I know I can make it over this easy peasy and then that's a triple out But then I didn't land correctly, but I'm still standing. Oh, but yeah, it, it's really that's really all it is man It's just understanding your lines being able to try to try to be consistent like supercross is where you need to be the most consistent and Be able to put down seven maybe eight laps before you fall like type John, you know like that That's huge man. That's that's hard to do so I, I give kudos to anybody that's really great at supercross from here under me and above me man now i do have a video on my channel that's where i did 100 hours and it was like titled sx edition man you can just see my progress there i was so garbage i was so garbage but i wanted to show like at 100 hours you you want to at least dip your feet in and kind of 
get the feel and understand dang i need practice on this john because it'd be bad if you started at 500 hours and be like i don't even know one lick of it you know so you always want to go around every time you you maybe cross a margin of 100 hours or so and be like hey uh let's let's see how i'm doing in you in uh, supercross now and i so far every out every 100 hours that i have gotten I've, I've done a little bit i've done a little bit better not super consistent not super crazy but i get the gist of it you know maybe learning a little bit more here and there from faster riders and all that and i do support a lot like this is a casual daddy server that i have up ibs kelso but i do support all the the bigger bigger faster people that come in because to be honest every casual rider looks up to you man you're out here coming in first every time they're like man what can i do to be you so i appreciate and shout out to breezy um shout out to cam live on twitch aka tyler j um and shout out to others that ca that have came in here and i do not know your name but was a role model instead of being a you know a dirt bag and showing this showing, showing an example to the uh smaller community that you know it takes time and progress and i'm not here to be a dirt bag and act like i'm faster than anybody because i am faster than you but i'm not gonna rub it in your face you know um i do appreciate you guys and i appreciate it every time so if you guys have stuck this long and, and seen the shout out w to you guys man and you guys are always welcome here um but yeah we're, we're moving through T clock is about to expire i think i'm in fifth place or so i'll take it Ooh, bad bounce now i have seen also austin if you can kind of help me out on this one it's a little forgiving slash unforgiving depending now on cases and over jumps, man. I know it's really bad. They, they kind of give you a little bit grace period, but at other times, man, if you are not landing correctly, you are done -zo. Yeah, for real. If you, uh, that's actually what I've been suffering with a lot is I'm casing and hitting like, I'm not really getting that backflip animation anymore. I'm rather so just like, doing a 180 and landing it which 180 you know, kind of like sideways right like a side one yeah it's like a sideways 180 and then you land it in like a drift and then we all know how slow physics are in this game hopefully they touch up on that on the beta 19 yeah but, uh, but like yeah casing really i feel like you used to be able to recover a lot more but now you can have like a controllable case like if you hit it in the right spot you'll case it and still ride away smooth yeah but if yep. you just if you hit it just in the wrong spot that whole like that margin goes down the drain absolutely now you guys seen right there for red is in fourth place and i didn't want to mess his race up it's it's about having heads up riding in this game as well but you seen that he was going that inside and it would have just been kind of a cluster if our Poboso physics would have kind of clashed. So I'd rather save his, I'd rather save his race and save my own and try to take that outside and risk the biscuit going for a triple and double out. As you see, I don't really hit that line. So I OJ'd it a lot, but a uh, huge thing is literally being considered for other riders, man. I know a lot of people don't care. And especially that's a huge thing when you want to get into this game is understanding being considerate and knowing when to take the right pass you don't always have to be the fastest in every section maybe you need to slow down for a second to so so another person can get past because you're probably going to be the faster person in the next section and have a better move than them but taking you out and and them out at the same time you're only hurting yourself you're only hurting yourself and you're killing everybody else like you're, you're slowing the race pace down and and it sucks but you know work, work on your craft of of, of being a uh, being a better rider and i promise man this game will get 10 times better so I just want to say, <laughs> uh oh, I just want to say for those out there that that start in ranked and you get really mad for those that are lappers and they really don't have no common sense to a lot of stuff, dude, bear with it. You know, keep working on your craft and, and work on evasive maneuvers. dude. That's all I can say. Right, Austin? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Right there like that. That right there. I was kind of a hazard, but I couldn't do anything. I fell. And that, that, that's where it goes to be consistent, man. Let's see, let's see if we can get red, though. I low-key would love to get red. He's honestly being consistent on that Suzuki as well. Ooh, kind of got a bad bounce. As you can see, Babosa was unforgiving with that one. Let's go for a triple off the lip. Easy. Let's go. Triple out. I'll take that. Man, I love it, dude. I love it. Thank you guys so much if you guys stuck this long. If you guys have not yet hit that like button and or subscribe button, man. Like I said, we're at 2,000 and we don't see no, no end in sight. So we're going to be pushing for that 750 hours. We're going to be pushing for that 1,000, man. Oh, no. 
And I just want to say thank you guys so much, dude. It's it's a huge support around here. Huge case of Rooney with a 360 no scope. This ain't Black Ops 3, baby. What the chicken boner? Oh my goodness. Bro, this lap. Speaking of lappers, that's all my that's all my race consisted of. Really? Yeah, this kid named Audit. Shout yeah. out to Audit. Kawasaki has it. <laughs> They're still around, man. They still floating. Floating like a butterfly, singing like a bee. Ooh, I got one second to cut. Nice little whip Rooney. Alright, double in. Kind of get pretty bad there. I'll be offset here. I shouldn't even went for it. It's all right. Oh my goodness. There we go. Third gear. Oh no! Dang it. Dang it! As you can see, man, also that's a huge thing, dude. Once when you start following, man, don't get flustered. <laughs> don't get flustered, man. Like this game is so easy for when you start following and you're trying to make up speed and and and. And stuff, dude, you're gonna start looking like you wanna break something. <laughs> Take a minute, bro. Take a minute. Take a second to, to two seconds before you try to get back up on the bike and be like, all right, let me just calm my nerves real quick. All right, let's go triple on and then double out. Man, oh man. Shout out to Aiden in here, MXB Mods Racing. I think he's a pretty fast rider. Uh, he's been in here, I think, all three races or so. So, W to him. Once again, that, that, that's a guy right there. Role model. Aiden, if you're watching this, dude, thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, I just want to say, man, thank you for not coming in here, literally uh, being a being a, being a dirtbag, man, and actually, you know, be, being that guy, being a role model. Let, let these people want to work up to you, man. That, that's the hugest thing. Work up work up to one of them be somebody that you look up to in this, ra in this game, you know? Um, no, for real. It's so easy just to be, uh, just to, my, my, my bad on the language, but it's so easy just to be an asshole when yeah. you're better than somebody. Sh straight but a word, lot of man. these guys like Cam, Aiden, you know, you name it, they pop into stream, are always willing to help people, always willing to show people the right, the right ways around this game just because they want to, like, shout out to them. Yo, W, man. But other than that, hey. This is for what 500 hours looks like to IBS Kelso and to anybody else out there. Hopefully you guys were able to watch the whole video. If you haven't, it's all right. But at least you guys were able to watch a little bit and understand what happened. And hopefully you guys got a little bit out of it and you guys can learn from it. Other than that, I won't talk your ear off anymore. I know this thing is about to be like 30 minutes long. But other than that, it's your boy IBS Kelso. And I'll catch you guys in the absolute next one. Thank you guys so much. Pa, 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 peace.